morning, y'all. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. It looks kind of blurry. But anyway, um, I something something hit me this morning. I was watching the news this morning. I'd get up every morning at 5.30, take Angel out. But as I was coming through the living room, I seen this lady on the news. I don't know whether she was a public official or a um, mental health doctor provider i don't i don't didn't catch her name or nothing but what i did catch was the remark about um how our kids in society are so disrespectful they have no regard for respect um so undoubtedly something had happened at a school or something but um it it kind of triggered me because she was saying that we as parents when they had um um, metal detectors in the schoolhouses that we as parents wanted to take them out. You know, we was hollering about, you know, the rights of our children and, you know, they shouldn't have to go through the metal detector and, and, you know, whatever the case was. But that being said, I just wanted parents to, let's ask ourselves a serious question. Uh, if they didn't have those metal detectors in schools, um, Kids could walk in there with anything, guns, knives, bombs, anything that destructs a building or other kids being harmed like that. So what I wanted to ask, even even myself, okay, I didn't vote um, to have the metal detectors put in schools. I didn't vote to have them taken out. But what I do want to um, bring to the attention to parents if there's no metal detectors in these schools and these kids walk in these classes with any harmful instrument that they may have <clears throat> and they harm another student or they harm themselves, you know, who who knows what a child has on their mind when they're walking in class with an AK-47 or uh, hunting knives, or, um, you know, they have this knife um, that divers use. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not a very, not a very good knife. Um, but anyway, I want us as parents to ask, at, the first thing that's going to happen is if your child goes in the schoolhouse and your child gets hit by a bullet or, or knives or anything, first thing to come out of our mouths as parents is, how did they get it in now? How in the hell did that student get that knife in there? How in the hell did that student get that gun in there? Where were the where was the, 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 the staff? They didn't see this? Okay. Our kids go to school with baggy clothes on, our kids go to school with big book bags, our kids go to school with um oversized coats and stuff on. You or we as parents don't want Nobody putting their hands on our kids. You ain't got no business searching my child, whatever, whatever the case may be. So we have to, then we turn around and ask ourselves again, how they get it in now? They wasn't noticed? If we would have kept our negativity about those scanners, uh, metal detectors being in the schools, we wouldn't be asking that question to nobody. How my child got shot? Well, our child got shot because there was another child that walked through the schoolhouse with a gun in his hand. After we, as parents, lobbied for the shit to be taken out of schools. Does it make any sense to you? Because it don't make no sense to me. It don't make no sense to me of why I'm asking how my child got shot or how your child got shot or how the teacher got shot or stabbed, whatever the case may be, how the school got blown up, how, what, whatever the negativity is that that child put on that school, claimed on them students or claimed on that school. I ain't got no business asking how they got in there. How, the, how in the hell they got the gun in there? How in the hell did they get this in there? We don't worry about the effects of what some of our kids have on other people.
It don't matter if they blowing up a school, shooting the school up. It don't matter bullying another student because you came, you you got a pair of brand new Nikes on that cost four or five hundred dollars, but that other child in foster care got a pair of shoes on that that you know y'all back in the day we called bobos. Um, it don't make no sense. And the lady was speaking on how we need to look back and see about getting metal detectors back in schools and stuff like that. Because every morning when I wake up, I see on the news that, that there's been a drive-by shooting or somebody been robbed at a gas station or somebody been shot at a red light. You killing people, kids. You, ju you just out here with no remorse for life. Just shooting up motherfuckers. That don't make no damn sense. I'm scared to go out, I'll tell you the truth. I won't go out at nighttime, I don't care. Who you got filming? I don't care what 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 you got going on. If you don't do it in broad daylight, but there's a bunch of people around, I'm not coming. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. But we as parents need to wake up and figure out what we doing. We don't discipline our kids no more. We, as I've said many, many times before, you put these electronics in their hands and that's it. That's it. Don't we don't track our kids? We don't put uh, notifications on their phones to figure out where they at. When you call on their phone, they supposed to be home, getting off that bus, going in that house, closing that door until you get home from work. Good girl, please. You think your kids is at 6294 Hummer Road and they way over here at, at 3563 Mercedes Benz Lane. That's a long way. But I just wanted to speak this morning to parents. You know, we need to take a look at what we're doing because we're not chastising our kids. We let them run all over us. And by us letting them run all over us, they're running over everybody else that they don't even know. And it's a sad case when, you're, when, when children these days run over their parents. And parents, we know they run over us. It ain't no military secret. Hell, just can run over me all day long. All day long, she she tries to 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 run me over and uh, be sneaky about it. Man, it's okay because I don't I don't hardly say nothing, you know. And it's okay. But then when I do say something, I'm in the wrong. I'm wrong. I'm a mean bitch. You 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 just so mean, bitch. And and I don't get nothing. And I don't get to do nothing. And, and you know whatever the case may be, blase squase. But that lady on the news kind of struck a nerve because she was saying something about the metal detectors and i didn't catch i didn't catch all of it because i was i was really trying to get out here to the garage so i could get angel out but i did hear her make the remark about our kids in society nowadays has no disregard for the law they got no they have no regard not disregard they don't have no regard for the law they don't have no regard for uh, people that's around them in school out of school it makes no sense but i just wanted to um come on here because they because she said something about um bringing those detectors um back in school so they would know what what's coming in and going out metal detectors back in schools and stuff and parents are saying that you know our kids has rights and they shouldn't have to go through that well they shouldn't have to go through the metal detectors and they shouldn't have to go through a lot of stuff that they go through but why should other families go through the misery the discomfort the mayhem that that child brought to that school for no reason I'm, I'm just asking a question. This, this ain't, this, this is just me asking a question as a parent. Okay. Um, if my child was to take a gun to school, shoot up a building and happen to kill seven or eight kids, I wouldn't be asking a question. Well, what happened to the metal detector? I'd be asking, what can I do to save the next child from this from happening? What would I do? So we as parents might want to ask ourselves that. What can we do to stop a lot of the violence, whether it's in school, church, our neighborhood, in the street, period? What can we as parents do to stop this? 
because it's bad. It's, it's really, really getting bad out there. And it's not only kids, it's not only teenagers, you know, it's older people out there that ain't, you know, wrapped too tight out there. But as a young generation, the next generation that comes up, what can we do to help our kids now so their kids won't be loading that same gun that our kids get? So with that being said, um, I got things to do. I got to get Jessica up, ready for school, and um, go back in. I'm actually going to go back in a minute when the news comes back on. I'm actually going to go back in a minute and see if I can see this whole segment of what this woman was saying. Um, but she um, was mainly talking about disrespectful children, having no regard for, you know, anybody else, people in general. So I'm going to go back and try to catch that and maybe um, tomorrow I'll come back on here and let y'all know exactly what she was talking about. But for the time being, it was about the metal detectors and kids bringing guns to school and stuff like that and why we don't know or how did they get them in the schoolhouse and, you know, where did they get them, you know. How did they get the gun in the first place? Is it a throwaway from the streets or, you know, do they know where their parents keep their guns at? Because parents, if you do have guns and stuff like this, keep them in a lockbox. Don't let your child know how to get in that lockbox or where the key is or what the combination is or, um, you know. Yeah. Well, let's ask ourselves as parents, what can we do? What can we do? So, please feel free to reach out to me or comment, you know, whatever the case may be. And um, stay tuned for more. And I thank you. And I try to do my best. And I try to reach out to people. And I try to help people. I, you know, I try to look at my general and primary messages every day. But there's so many of them. Um, so many of them, I can't answer all of them. In one day, it may take me a month to get back. It may take me two weeks or three, four. It does, I, I don't. I, I just know that I do try to answer the most important ones, you know. Um, so just DM me or reach out to me some kind of way on Facebook or, you know, however. But we as parents need to get our shit together so our kids can have their shit together. So, that being said, I'll let y'all go. Y'all have a good morning.